This is a quick demonstration of how to use images um, after you've pasted them in Word. This is best when you have text with the images. Word isn't a photo editing um, software program, but it's great for text. And so if you have like an article or a poem that goes with your image and you want to create a document that has a lot of stuff going on with it, pasting a photo or an image in Word and then wrapping text around it is a really good way to go. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I found this article in Psychology Today on cultivating curiosity and how happiness and sense of wonder is its own reward. So I'm going to copy this article. And I'm just going to copy this part of it. So I to copy, open up my Word document, and I've already got some stuff here. I'm going to open up a new one. And then I'm going to paste this information. Okay, once I've pasted it, I'm going to have to go through and clean it up because websites have all kinds of stuff with them. All right, so let's see here. Yes, yeah, so I'm editing stuff. Here's my article. Yay, but I don't need this. So I want to get rid of that. Sorry. I'm going to get rid of all this. Don't need those. I want just this article. Don't need the email button. Don't need the share. Okay. And so now I've got this great image that's on here, and I can edit it by taking the text and making it square. And so now all of a sudden my text comes up. I make this image a little smaller. There we go. And so we've got our title here. Now that title. Can be And this. So what I want to do is I want to find a good place to break it up. Now obviously, I, if I was using this article to, for a voice thread, I would have read the article already. I would know what tasks I want my students to do. Um, but I haven't read this. So I'm going to assume um, that about right here might be a good place to stop. And so I might insert a page break so that this is my first slide. Okay. Um, now I want this to fill the page, so I will highlight my text. There we go, and make that a little bit bigger. Oops. But I still want it to fit on just that one page. Oh, too much, too much. Still too much. Oh, so close. Um, you can play around with things like the page layout and the margins and all kinds of fun stuff. I'm trying to get that onto one page. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so this will be my first page for my voice thread. When you're on the voice thread, students can zoom in so that they can read better. So it doesn't have to be huge for them to read, but it does need to be a good size so that they know what they're reading and they know what they're doing with it. And so that's how you would use images with text to create a document for a VoiceThread slide in Microsoft Word.